for my next CD, I chose uh, music by Szymanowski and uh, Debussy. Uh, the main reason is that uh, I wanted to show a sharp contrast between Impressionism and Expressionism. I think it can be very interesting for, for the audience. And most of the BC pieces which I decided to record uh, for the CD, I, I've been playing around 10 years. Uh, there are short pieces, each is uh, completely different, each is very different, and um, each has a specific style, specific atmosphere. And um, I must say that I am very happy that I found a good piano, really good piano, which allows me to show a lot of colors, uh, main various shades of the sound and also moods. Of course, Szymanowski is maybe not so popular in Europe, but his music is very interesting. Um, my story with, with Szymanowski uh, music started relatively early. I was 11, 12 uh, years old. I remember I attended the concert by Polish pianist Jerzy Godziszewski. And I was absolutely delighted by uh, Szymanowski music. Uh, I remember everything sounded uh, so beautiful, um, heartbreakingly beautiful, and uh, especially harmony, uh, wonderful modulations, the melodies. And I really wanted to play Szymanowski music, uh, so I decided to start with um, Szymanowski variations, Opus, opus 3 uh, in B flat minor. Very interesting piece, 12 variations, each is uh, completely different, each presents different character. And after my winning in 2005, winning in Chopin competition, I played quite a lot um, this piece during my recitals. And um, the audience liked this piece very much. And now I am very happy that I can record a few pieces for the next CD. I chose the Prelude and Fugue in C-sharp minor and the first sonata, Opus 8. Um, big piece, uh, four movements, a lot of uh, emotions, uh, a lot of culminations, um, but also a lot of um, subtle moments, uh, deeply moving uh, fragments, like uh, second movement, for example. Uh, what is also interesting in this in this sonata, um, we can hear, apart from all expression, we can hear that uh, the classical approach was very close to Szymanowski. For example, the first movement is a typical, uh, maybe not not typical, but uh, it's a, it's in fact uh, allegro sonata form. The third movement is a kind of menuet. The 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 last movement is a fugue. So. We, I know that, that, that Szymanowski uh, liked the polyphony. Polyphonic thinking was very close to him. And this movement uh, proves it uh, that, that he liked this kind of thinking and understanding music. This piece uh, which I chose for, the, for my CD um, was written when Szymanowski was quite young and he was absolutely fascinated uh, in expressionist music like Scriabin. And uh, we can hear a typical uh, atmosphere for expressionism in uh, these compositions. For example, the beginning of the prelude um, reminds me a special atmosphere from uh, a lot of Scriabin's compositions, especially the, the beginning is very, very interesting. It uh, reminds me um, as if the composer can't decide that this piece should be in C uh, sharp minor or C sharp major. So it's very interesting. Uh, finally, the, the piece is in C sharp minor, of course, but um, a special mood, a special character for expressionism is, is, um, is audible in this, this, this composition, especially. The third movement is a kind of menuet, uh, which proves that uh, classical thinking classical approach was very close to Szymanowski, was, was very close to his thinking about the music. And it's a very optimistic piece, and especially the middle part in, in this, this uh, menuet is very interesting, a lot of polyphony and a lot of um, interesting harmony, interesting uh, melodies, not only in the right hand, but also in the left hand, so the polyphony is uh, also audible in this this part of of this mm, this piece. Before the competition, I played a lot of music by by Debussy, and uh, 
it made me more sensitive for colors and shades of the sound, which is also very, very important in Chopin's music. So um, now I am happy that after my three albums uh, for Deutsche Grammophon, I can record the music which is also very close to me uh, because it helped me in Chopin's interpretations as well. And uh, I decided to play short pieces, short miniatures, um, which are absolutely interesting uh, for me. I can um, show a special atmosphere, a, a special colors and shades. Um, so it's 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 absolutely important in in uh, the BC music. And uh, I chose uh, two cycles, a stamps and pour le piano, and very interesting piece, uh, short piece, the Island of Joy, uh, which I performed as an encore after my recitals and uh, there are a lot of virtuosity aspects in this in these compositions but also a lot of beautiful deeply moving moments uh, which are very typical for uh, the BC music <laughs> 